Pickle Lake has a very interesting and unique history. Without the discovery of high gold content in the ground, Pickle Lake would never have existed. This town was built around the sole purpose of mining such a precious metal. Pickle Lake is very similar to many other mining towns in Ontario, because without the discovery of the many different minerals, they would also not exist today. Uh, the gold mines benefited the town by bringing a lot of people into work and the economy boomed of course with the influx of people and jobs, um, more services. In April 1931, the Central Patricia gold mine opened, becoming the first gold mine in Pickle Lake and with that there was a large influx of new people and jobs. With the news of Central Patricia's great success as second, the Pickle Crow gold mine started production in April 1935. Pickle Lake had started to take shape. H.C. Claude Hooker, the manager for the Hudson Bay Company store at Osnaburg, had opened up a general store, a hotel, and a dance hall. In the past, local mining companies and government have not always developed responsibly. A dam that was built in 1935 to bring power to the mine caused flooding to Mishkegogamang First Nations homes, gardens, and grave sites. The Central Patricia Gold Mine and Pickle Crow Mine are both shut down today and many people left the community in search of new jobs. Two and a half million ounces of gold were produced between 1928 and 1995 in the Pickle Lake area. Today the Muscle White Gold Mine is in operation 103 kilometers north of Pickle Lake. Pickle Crow Mine is planning to start mining again. Mine, uh, development mining is um, it's a process where it's where we drill around, load it, blast it, and muck it out. And then we do the ground support afterwards and the cycle begins in the next 12 hours. So. Young people today know that with the new mine opening, there's a possibility of working in a variety of new jobs, including blasting, underground mining, catering, heavy equipment operator, health and safety coordinator, and environmental technician. When I grow up, I want to be an underground miner just like my dad. Seems pretty cool being able to work with dynamite. He's been my biggest inspiration throughout my whole life. In the future, we can hope mining can return to Pickle Lake so it can thrive again in a way that is responsible environmentally and socially to all local people.